If you've been a fan of my channel for a while, you may have noticed recently that my thumbnails have completely changed. And I'll tell you right now, this is having a very positive effect on my channel. As you can see here, a lot of these uh, views are pretty good, especially considering, especially for the last kind of three or four months. And I'm going to show you how I've been making my thumbnails and how you can make them too. Now, I do already have this on my other channel. I have a very, very similar video on my other channel. I also have a complete playlist where I just go through everything about how to make money from a YouTube channel, how to grow a YouTube channel, etc, etc. The channel is at Tube Launchpad. I will leave that in the description of this video as well. Um, but I wanted to put a video on this channel as well, just because I had a lot of people asking me how I'm making my Dal E thumbnails. So in order to do this, what we're going to do is we're I'm going to show you how I would do this if I was going to change, let's say, this video right here. So this video doesn't have an amazing um, description, but basically what I've been doing is I've been using DALI and I've just been taking the description of the video and I've been taking the title of the video. And this works with blog posts for featured images as well, etc, etc. It's just this video is about thumbnails. And what I've been saying is can you make me a thumbnail for this video here, okay? Now, obviously, one thing that DALI does is it still messes up text, even if it does a very, very good job with text now. It still does mess up text. So you're going to need either Canva Pro or Photopia or Photoshop, depending on whether you've already got Photoshop, if you're good with Photopia, for example, or if you're not very good at graphic design like me, then instead what you'd want to use is Canva. Now I do highly recommend Canva. I really, really do like Canva. Um, I don't have an affiliate link or anything. This isn't a sponsored video. I just really, really like where Canva have gone with their Magic Studio. I think it helps a lot. So let's have a little look what we've got here. So we've got this one here. And we've got this one here. I don't really like either of them. So I'm going to say, can you make them a bit more dramatic? Uh, and that should give us a bit more of a dramatic thumbnail. You do want a dramatic thumbnail because obviously it gets the click. And then once you've, once you're on Canva, you can click YouTube thumbnail here. Or if you want to use Photopia instead, for free, Photopia is completely free, by the way. Just make sure it's 1280720. And also, I would probably recommend doing 300, but I don't actually know how much this matters because again, I'm not really the best at graphic design. And then you just want to press create here. Okay, so we have a little bit better here. This is cool. This is really, really cool. Um, I'm going to say I love the second one, but could you remove some of the writing because it's messed up? So let's see if it will do that. I don't know if people have, re have noticed recently, but DALI will often refuse to make generations. So if you, oh, sorry, variations. So if I just said these are cool, but make, can you make different variations? It'll say no. Okay. So instead what you do is you just tell it to change something about the image and it should just say, yes. Okay. Here you go. So if you're wondering as well, how I do my text, uh, my fonts. Okay. It depends. I do have a font specifically for my channel, uh, which someone actually made for me. But if you don't have one yet, what you can do instead is you can click on Window and then Plugins inside Photopia, and then actually click on Templates right here. And you'll actually find a whole host of amazing fonts that, again, you can use this for featured images, for blog posts. I might actually just show that in this video as well, just because I may as well, um, because you know this is more of an SEO channel. But yeah, you can pick one of these fonts. Uh, I like to use this one and this one. These both work pretty well. Clickbait, clickbait. So let's just use this one. We'll click here and then we'll click it again, which will put it into a project. And then we need, oh, very good. Look at this. So this is really, really good. I like this a lot. Again, it's not perfect. Some of the writing's messed up. I think this one's even better though. So I'm just gonna download this one and we're gonna see if we can clean up some of the text here using Canva, okay? So I do, I for every thumbnail I make, I use Canva and I use Photopia, okay? Because Photopia has better fonts, but because I'm not very good at editing and graphic design, etc., 
I actually do a lot of my editing and graphic design work in Canva now that they have uh, the, the, this magic tool thing. So what you can do, you can do one or two things. So this one here, for example, this is another one that I made on Dali. You can just remove this image, this little emoji thing, and put a chat GPT logo, for example. That's what I actually did for that video. But let's see what we can do with this image right here. So I'm going to press edit photo, and we're going to press grab text. Now I'm not 100% sure this is going to work that well, because it looks like these are not going to be recognized as text. Yeah, no text detected. I, I did have a feeling about that. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to edit photo. We're going to go to magic eraser. And we're just going to go around and basically remove a lot of this text here. So we'll see if that has a better effect. As long as it doesn't look like it's supposed to be text anymore, then I think we should be OK here. So yeah, that's that's actually fine. That, that works. So we'll get rid of this S as well. And a little bit of this. And we'll get rid of this as well. And that should be about there. Let's have a look what that looks like. So again, don't worry too much if the text grabber doesn't necessarily work because you can also just use the magic eraser. So now if you look at it, these don't really look like letters anymore. They just kind of look like shapes. So that's actually fine. So then what I'm, I've been doing is just downloading this. So I think it's got to load. So yeah, we can download it like this. And then I normally put it into Photopia just because, again, I think Photopia has much better fonts compared to Canva. Canva's fonts are not good for thumbnails. I really, really don't like them. So we'll get this in here, and then we'll get this text like this. And then we'll write, like, SEO. That looks really cool, actually. Wow. With, like, the negative effect. That looks so awesome. Anyway, SEO content machine. And then we'll put this to, like, size 150 or something. It's going to be a bit of a difficult one to place at that large text. So we'll do 100. I do kind of, I always try and have at least size 100 font. Um, and again, people might say this doesn't look that good, etc. But it does get clicks. My click through rate has increased massively since I started doing this. So yeah, it definitely, definitely works. Now, this is how I've been using it for thumbnails. But if you want to use it for, so from here, you just go file, export as PNG. And you can see 1280 by 720, save that. That's a pretty good thumbnail. I think that looks amazing. And I, I could actually probably change the thumbnail that I've currently got to this, and it would probably increase the click-through rate. Anyway, another thing you can do is you can use this to create featured images or infographics for your blog. So I'm going to click on Journal here. And this is actually what I've been doing. So these last two articles for two men, um, both have uh, Dali fe uh, featured images, and then I'm going to show you exactly how I created those featured images. But what we're going to do just as a live test, I love doing these live tests. I have not seen this um, for a few days. I haven't seen how this is ranking at all. iSuit's going crazy. I don't know what's going on with iSuit's uh, SEO, but anyway. Um, let's see if these are actually ranking. Again, completely live test. So we'll go to Nuovo Pagina. Sorry that it's in Italian, but I mean, it, it just means new and page. It's not that difficult. This is doing pretty well for a new article on a website that is still only a year old. It's definitely doing well here. So I think we might be on the first page for Neapolitan Shoulder. Let's have a look. We are. We are currently on the first page for Neapolitan Shoulder. That is a really, really good result. Very, very happy with that. And then we'll check the other one, which is probably not doing as well, because I just don't think the article is as good, to be honest with you. Doesn't seem to be getting any traction whatsoever. This does happen quite a lot. You'll have one article that absolutely destroys and one article that completely flops. Just the way of the business, guys, you just got to move on. Um, I wouldn't bother even changing this necessarily. I'll just leave it, move on to the next article, etc., etc. So let's say what we wanted to do is we wanted to go through and we wanted to change all of these um, articles to have better featured images. So what I would do is I would take this paragraph text like this. I would head on over to ChatGPT and I would say, can you create a blog featured image for this article? 
and then we'll just put the article like that just paste the article directly in and then what it should do is it should create a much better featured image and featured images can help you rank on google because just like thumbnails people will see them and people click also because it's unique content so here's the end result already that was super fast they've made dali a lot quicker this is beautiful absolutely beautiful um this is good too i like this as well actually what is the blog post though i think it's just about pants right elevate your business casual wardrobe with luxury pants and slacks yeah so this one would definitely be better this is fine this is good download that and then just change the featured image there so these are a couple of ways that you can grow your business using dali i think dali is probably the best thumbnail generator in the game right now julian goldie is doing really really well doing this exact same thing as i am using uh chat gpt with dali inside it to do his thumbnails Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys, and as usual, I will see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.